So I'm going to do a quick product review on a uh, backrest I got off of Amazon. If you're watching my other VN 1700 videos, you know I've taken off the trunk. I'm trying to make it a little bit more of an older style bike or maybe a little Vaquero slash older style Vulcan. Um, just a little more that fits my needs in life. So trying to find a backrest has been a pain in the butt. Same with the saddlebags. Um, so I found this one. This is for a VN 900. Now the width of it matched, uh, so it fits over the frame. But the problem of it was the bolt patterns weren't the same length. Um, I figure I can get a little bracket and modify. I can make it work. Um, but just for product review wise, um, I'll put the model number in the description and I'll put it on the video. First of all, this was supposedly new in the box. If you can see, let's see if I can get a good reflection. There's a big old ring right there around the top. That looks like a washer to me. So strike one is this has either been installed or whatever machine work they put it on, uh, not good. Strike two, the inside is not polished. Now, most of the time that wouldn't matter, but some of these pieces you will be able to see once it's installed. Like this piece here will show through the inside of the seat and you'll be able to see that's an unfinished part. So why they wouldn't just go ahead and polish the inside uh, I'm sure it was just quick dipped in China. Uh, it's probably why. Doesn't matter. The other side, the hole is actually, there's no washer mark, but this one's kind of oblonged at the top. Uh, it's almost like the chrome dip rolled into the uh, hole. So what's going to happen there is when you put your bolt through it, you're going to scratch it, and then it's just going to start rusting immediately. And on the inside, there's definitely another uh, mark of where the chrome didn't take right. It's pitted really bad. Here's a big giant, uh, I don't even watch it, just a, a bad part where the chrome didn't take, probably a bad weld or a bad grind. So the chrome didn't take on that at all. The backrest itself of the uh, trunk lid is crooked. So this side slopes down and in, this side slopes down and out. Now you can definitely make that work if you put it on the bike, you can get back there and push it around, pull it around. Uh, but this wasn't a $50 part. This was a, I think I paid $149 for this one. So it was a fairly decent amount to pay for something that's not welded correctly. The welds on the inside are sloppy. Um, quickly done. Again, the dipping on the back or the dipping on the chrome is really bad. Uh, this piece looks a lot better than the side pieces. And then the bar on the back. Again, same thing. If you look on the inside there, I'm not sure how well the camera's gonna pick these up. I'm trying to get the, um, just kind of flipping it so you can kind of catch the bad spots on it when it comes around. But same thing, on the inside of this is just really bad and you're gonna see this, you know, when it's on the bike. The top part here has got bubbles in the chrome. There's a big bubble at the top of it. Um, there's a chip in the top of it already without even touching it. That's gonna start rusting immediately. Um, so in other words, stay away from this product. Last thing is the seat padding. That the pad actually feels pretty good on the back rest. The back, there's no holes pre-drilled in the leather. There's no little grommet or anything. So basically they just want you to take this, put it on there and shoot a couple screws through the back and hold it in place. So if the leather starts to tear something, then you're just gonna have another bigger mess by trying to drill into that. Or if you don't get it absolutely perfect when you put it on there, um, you've just got a mess. So basically, I'm putting this back in the box. It's going back to Amazon. I'm going to get my money back, and I'll try something else. But again, that was for a VN uh, 900 uh, Kawasaki.